Hi, this is Nick from PrimeLoops.com. Today I want to give you a basic rundown of the Arrange and the Session views and how they relate to one another. The Session view is the view that opens up by default in Ableton Live, as you can see here. This view is divided into vertically arranged tracks. Each of these vertical strips represents one track of audio or MIDI. On these tracks you can have clips that are playing, again either audio or MIDI, and then in addition to the tracks you have scenes. Each scene is a collection of clips playing on different tracks. So for instance I have two tracks in this view. One is a vocal hook, and then one has a collection of different drum breaks on it. Now I have two scenes set up with these different clips. One scene, when I trigger it here, only plays this drum break. And then this next scene plays a vocal break over yet another drum break. So the best way to think of Session View is a vertical arrangement of tracks with horizontal scenes. And that way you can always play any kind of audio coming from multiple different tracks in various different arrangements from the scenes over here. You can access the Arrange view simply by hitting Tab. And if you hit Tab again, you go back to Session. So hitting Tab again, we'll go to Arrangement view. And as you can see, this is a more traditional linear editor, just like a lot of other digital audio workstations. You have a sequence of bars going up here across the top, and then you have all of the tracks that you have loaded into your set right here. So you can arrange them in a linear sequence. Now one thing that trips a lot of people up at first is that these two tracks in the Arrange view are exactly the same as these two tracks in the Session view. So if I hit the Master Record button up here while I play a couple of scenes, all of that information will be recorded into the Linear Editor over here in the Arrangement view. So if I go back to the Session view and jam out a little bit of a basic arrangement here, all of my work will be recorded so that I can later come back to the Arrange view and edit it in a more traditional fashion. So I'll go ahead and hit the Master Record button up here, and then I'll just start playing between my two scenes. So that was a basic little chunk of an arrangement. Now when we flip back over to the Arrange view, you can see that everything I did was recorded. So now if I play back what we're looking at here in the Arrange view, you'll hear exactly what I did in the Session view. So that's a basic rundown of how the Arrange and Session views are related. They both deal with the same tracks and the same audio information, but they're simply different ways of looking at it. I'll see you next time for more audio production tips and tricks. Stay creative!